Oh, 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 Yes, it's OG. Whatever. All right, the cool thing is, <laughs> one of my friends has one of these guns. Yeah, so unlike me. Yeah. Matt. <laughs> I have the full-size one here. Yeah, he has the big boy version. Sorry this, about this that, This is Candace. the full-size. I'm sorry, the other one's... Uh, well, you can them. Them. Yeah, he has the badass one. Uh, so here's how we're going to run right. it. It'll be, uh, Candace, we get to hear all about the gun, and... Hopkins and I are just going to go ahead and interject whenever we have something to say while you're talking about the gun. And we're going to keep going until either you get finished talking about the stuff you want to talk about or you're in tears. Does that sound fair? Sure, whatever. I'm not a, it's this gun this gun is not a part of my self-esteem. This one is. is. <laughs> yeah, be sure you put all the guns you own in your signature line when you're posting on duty. Yeah, it wouldn't be a very long design, signature right? line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yes, Matt, you have to hold it up whenever you're speaking. Oh. <laughs> What's that other shit? <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, I have... Right. What do I have around here? You got nothing. No, I do. I have something. Oh, man. This is part of my self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! All Whatever. right, so, anyway... PPQ is a plastic, fantastic gun that uh, it's about the size of a Glock 19, um, except better in every single possible way, except that it's not a Glock. <laughs> um, holds 15 rounds normally. Uh, there's 17 round extended Why magazines. Why did you buy this? Oh, uh, where or when? Why? Why? Uh, like what? What is it for? Well, when I bought it, it was going to be like just my handgun. It was the first handgun I... well, the first second. Second first handgun I ever owned. I had a P99, but the PPQ was even more awesome. So, I sold that and bought a PPQ. Alright, so like this was... you bought Yeah, this, this, was, this was my game. game. Yeah, and I started IDPA with it. Alright, cool. Yeah. Please continue. Alright, so, it's pretty cool. The, the, the thing that everyone talks about when they talk about the PPQ is the trigger. Because it's the best striker fire trigger out of the box. This was uh, this was on Pistol Forum. Where this was like the gun du jour. Yeah. Like, well, you know, I think they, they like everything. They're subject though. matter experts, though, right? Yeah. Well, right. I think they're on the the Beretta bandwagon now. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. That's the best gun ever. Yeah. There's so, Sig 320. No, the Sig 320 is the new best plastic hope. Okay. Um, yeah, but. What I liked about this gun was it was completely ambidextrous, which to me at the time seemed like a good idea. Why? Because um, marketing hype. <laughs> but the M1 has this different mag release than the M2. This one has a paddle mag release. So, like, it's, um, the, it's part of the trigger guard. Okay, so on this gun, this has a button like a traditional gun yep. that you push, and that's one of the things that is pretty horrid on this. So it has what? this line underneath it here, and you can't actually you... get to the button to press it sometimes? Hold on. Hopkins. Show me the line. Hopkins, you're right saying you, you'd rather it have the paddle? I would rather have this without the line underneath it. <laughs> but not the paddle, right? I've never tried the paddle, so I don't know. Well, I'll tell you the advantage of the paddle. Okay. Um, it's part of the trigger guard, kind of. So if this was a real-life gun and not a competition gun... You could never drop the mag if the gun was in a holster, because the button wouldn't be, you know, the mag release wouldn't be exposed. So that's actually kind of cool, and it is fully ambidextrous. It's not just reversible. There's a paddle on both sides, so I don't know. If your arm gets shot off, you could <laughs> drop a mag to reload with your other arm, right? <laughs> Very good point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so, excellent. You know. Excellent uh, salesmanship. That's well, it's the also that if you were left selling it to lefties or righties, with. they don't have to do anything but have the gun, and it's fully set up. So the trigger on it, anyway, is fantastic for a striker-fired gun, I think. Well, isn't that 
what is that? What are you really saying when you say that it's fantastic? What I'm saying, what I'm saying is it has an extremely light take up, and then a very hard wall, and then a very short, short, short reset. It's very positive. Okay. It's pretty much everything you'd want out of a striker fired gun trigger that I can imagine. Except for it's a little bit heavier than you can get a Glock down to. And Ooh. I like the Whoa. trigger shape because it's kind of what? For the like trigger breaks and it actually fires. Yeah. How it has a really strong bolt. I do that's one good thing. Yeah, if, um if you take the firing pin block out if you take the firing pin block out, it, you, you don't get that wall so much, which is interesting to me, because I've literally taken everything out of this gun at one point or another and tried to shoot it. <laughs> Just because I was curious. So, <laughs> right. So anyway, the only the only real drawbacks to me for this gun is the slide stops crazy long, like all the German, like the HK ones. So I end up riding it all the time, and that was a problem in IDPA with all them slide lock reloads. So uh, and the grip, oh yeah, the grip isn't very good either. It looks I like agree it, with that, totally. it looks like it, yeah, <laughs> it looks like shit. it. It looks like it. It looks like it should be good, right? No, no, no hold, hold on. It looks like it should have texture, right? But it doesn't. It has none at all. No, it's it's slick as hell, and you know yes. the P ninety nine had a much better grip. Hold on, so Hopkins, you're saying the trigger? Did I hear you correctly? That it's shit? No. No, the grip. The grip is shit. The grip, grip shit. Is horrible, yeah. Yeah, um, and mine. Like there's these little swirl patterns on it. Just like, the swirl yeah. patterns. Right here, on the grip. But back, ah, up, back it up, back it up a bit. The there we go. There. Ugh. What's going on with that? It looked like they're supposed to be grippy, but it's like they had an engraver that had some free time and just started engraving the mold they use and kind of went crazy with it. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. The, the grip is, is too slick, and what about the contour of the grip? I think the contour is kind of all right, except they've got this hump in the back that I really kind of don't like. Well, show us the hair. hump. Hopkins is showing the hump. <laughs> Candace is showing the hump. Yeah. The problem I have is see these extensions on the sides here that kind of go where your palm is? Yes. It would be really yes. hard to see on the camera, maybe. Yeah, I see no, them. No, I see them. But right it there. doesn't allow your hand to get flat against the gun, and you can't actually have your uh, your support hand flat against the gun. It moves too much on the So that, that for you is a deal breaker. Yeah. When I was shooting well, it, I couldn't get a hold of it. Well, I will tell you, I have had access to some that have been stippled. Mm -hmm. Mine is not stippled because I want it to be SSP legal. I don't really give a shit anymore, but I'm not paying any money for it. Um, but I could not stipple it, and grip tape will not stick because it has that stupid useless texture. <laughs> yes. So, so... so I always had a horrible problem holding on to the gun, too. So you like this gun, Candace? I think it's one of the best plastic guns there is. But you can't hang on to it. Not the way it is now. Not without a lot of uh, program. And, and the slide stop is too long. The slide right, stop so is too long. Hopkins, you hate this gun, right? Yeah. And it's because you wow. can't hang on to it. Yeah, I can't shoot it. Dude, stipple it. <laughs> stipple Why? it. I want to sell it. I don't know. <laughs> well, then sell it. <laughs> Get the money I want out of it, though. <laughs> well, shit. I guess we're screwed, right? That's an impasse. Oh, I'll trade, right. you, hey, Matt, I'll trade Matt, you straight up. Matt, they're, they're probably going to discontinue this Dude. after a while, and then I'll be able to sell it as a collector item. Sell it to Candace. I'll what trade you mean? straight up for a better gun. You have a Glock? Uh, I have a, <laughs> access to a Gen 2 Glock 7. <laughs> but, no, no deal. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn no. it. Well, you know, okay... The deal is, if this was a real-life gun, I think it wouldn't be that bad. You'd stipple it up. It's about the right size to carry. Not a bad gun, really. It's uh, it's always been really reliable for me. I got, like, 25,000 rounds through it. That's uh, How many malfunctions? You logged it every round that it malfunctioned, right? You know, I could have. It's that few. It's It really isn't very many. It has malfunctioned some. Um, but most of that's because the recoil spring's too damn stiff. And uh, the ejection port lockup is really tight um, because they hand fit these things in Germany, which is kind of cool. Um, but it kept, it caught stuff in the IDPA real world stages, which like 
like you would shoot through like a piece of clothing or you'd be up against some sort of crazy little barrier or something and some piece of clothing would get stuck in it or if it gets if it gets like a death jam this gun is really tight to try to knock it knock it open it's the only problem I ever really had. The thing will shovel empty cake. It'll shovel like empty brass into the into the chamber, which is kind of useless. Oh, they also have really short chambers, by the way. Uh, all so the I reamed mine. Guns usually have that. Though. Yeah, so I I had mine reamed. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Candace, let's bottom line this thing. You. Bottom line, I think uh, if you want a plastic gun with a good trigger. And you don't mind stippling it? <laughs> I think these are really good guns. But then again, a Glock is pretty much useless out of the box too, right? Uh, but in a different way. No, I think you can effectively actually shoot it though. Oh, come on, stop to it. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, you can actually shoot. I made shoot master it. with this thing, man. Just like yeah, it is. Master and IDPA. Does that really? With two divisions. That's Whatever. Awesome. Two good, divisions. Good no, I'm still not a master in IDPA, so I can't... It's CCP. It's CCP. <laughs> I'm, I'm an expert, so... Talk service. Man, you don't, you don't have room to talk about All right. So Candace likes the gun. Matt, you say what? It's horrible. It's horrible. horrible. <laughs> I'd say find something else. Without ever having touched one, I'm pretty sure it's a piece of shit, too. But <laughs> Wow. It's just because I trust Matt. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I'm out. 